Ross, is um, obviously another tough fixture coming up this weekend at home to Southend. We we faced Wrexham last week, which was obviously going to be a big challenge, and, and now we're playing a side that's obviously you know in, in very good form and, and up there as well. Yeah, like um, they're, they're a good, they're a good national league side, Southend. Very good at what they do. They're um, good at winning first contacts and good at good at winning second balls and. Uh, very solid, very hard to beat. So yeah, they're on a good run of form, good tide. Uh, very well, very well set up and, and very well organised. So we'll have to be at it and we'll have to be be fully focused and, and fully committed to what to the game plan to uh, to get anything anything out of it. Obviously, back at the EBB Stadium though, so home advantage can only be a good thing, can't it? Yeah, and I know they're bringing quite a few away fans, aren't they? So um, they'll have a they'll have a big following. But yeah, I mean, obviously the the, the home record's being talked about and. Obviously, they were coming off the back of the main head, which 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 is obviously under myself. So uh, it needs to be better. Uh, we need to make sure that uh, the home record improves, improves moving forward. For like, um, not not just my home record, but certainly the club's home record. So it's really important that we get that going. And what a great way to start that would be on Saturday with a, with a very good performance and a great result against Southend on Saturday. Well, looking at our opponents, they've obviously um, were on that brilliant run of form, but they have lost their last game against Gateshead, who, who obviously we're travelling too soon. So you know, it's it's not obviously there for the taking, but you know, that uh, one loss after a run of form like that means they could be a bit jolted, couldn't they? So what, yeah, what? potentially. Like you never, I guess you never know, do you? Like mm. like, um, I mean, I watch so many games in this league, and 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 they're so tight and. They decided, like even like like by by transitions or, or by key moments and set pieces, and that was sort of evident and, and clear in in our maiden head game with the start. And like you look at like uh, I guess the Wrexham game with that like little ten minute spell where they scored the two goals. So, like the key the, the the key moments and the transitions I talk a lot about with this group, and um, it's really important that we control them. It's really important that we manage them, and and our game plan and what that looks like in terms of of managing them. Uh, we, we, we we do the best we can to sort of like deliver it really. And our last two games against Wrexham and Maidenhead, they were obviously losses, but we spoke about how you know we we grew as, into the game as a team, and, and so it's all about harnessing that and making putting that throughout the whole ninety minutes, isn't it? So how how do we achieve that? Yeah, and, and you know what, man, it's hard to tell people like you're doing well, but like and everyone is like, yeah, but you've lost or mm. or like, the results is all that matters and all great. We've had a good second half, but like we've got nothing out of it, like. I'm not daft, and and like, I get it. Like I, it is. For, I'm as frustrated as the next person. Like I think um, this group are are very very close to, to being a really really good team, and and things like the maiden heads would 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 be would be a lot lot less. And I mean I mean we we talk we can talk about maidenhead, and obviously the Wrexham the Wrexham's a tough tough one to go to, but we still won three and six, and like um, no managers like all or like sort of like when I've come in. Like three and six, if you'd have told me, would I was like, wow, that'd be amazing. And like the last, the last like few managers have, have not got three and six, and, and and it's been a rare thing at this club to get that in your first six games. So like, um, it's it, I'm proud to have done it, and I'm proud to have been part of it. I know James is as well, and I know the players are. But like, you almost like look at it, and you go, God, we're with my maiden head, and, and maybe even Torquay could have been four or five and six, and. But a little bit of a like reality check from ourselves is like, you know what, like before we came in, we won three and fourteen. Um, including back in the last season it was like three and what, seventeen, eighteen. So to to get three and six and I, I'm I'm fully expecting or or, or wanting that we we're gonna get a result on Saturday against South End to, to make it four and seven and um I don't see why we can't think or why we can't believe that. But like I always said the key thing key thing is is, is to make sure we're competitive. To make sure we're playing good football and to make sure we're aggressive and I guess that was the big disappointment against Maidenhead, wasn't it? Because like I said, it, it's easy to do it second half when you're losing two 0 and, and to not start like that was, was was quite disappointing. Are there any squad updates ahead of ahead of this weekend? Um obviously parts parts played against Wrexham, so mm. so like uh without putting pressure on him, it's great to have him back and um obviously he's the captain, he's the leader, so like a lot of people look up to him and uh, it's great to have in the dressing room. So like he's obviously he'll be back and be back back playing as well. And Harrison's not quite back yet, um, but he's very very close. Um, obviously Luke is back from being unwell. And uh, other than that, really, no, 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 no changes or or, or nothing different. Um, I think, uh, like I said, like there's there's little bits to iron out in this group, and 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 I think transitions and key moments and set pieces are are big to manage and and big to change. And if we get that right. Um, not only can we have better starts, I mean, we want, I mean, a lot of people talk about Wrexham and how we started slowly and we were brilliant in the second half. 
I was, I was very clear, like, like we started slowly because we, we had to start like that. We started in the three five two to to give us that control and, and to allow us to be in the game and be competitive. Like you could have easily started in the four three three and had a go and man for man and and, and try to try to pull it out. But then you could have come in four or five nil down and then it's a completely different thing and what's your sort of like what have you got then and you know, how are you going to change it and where you're going to go from you're going to move in the three five two so just trying to manage them different strategies and get them right like uh, it's nothing new that i'm not used to managing um but but the wrexham was a plan and a lot of people said to me like oh like you started slowly you weren't great first half i thought we were good first half we just weren't great in the 10 minutes where we conceded and they were better like that so they, there was a 10 minute spell we weren't good enough um but the rest other than that i thought we were all right we had variety we mixed it up like like football is a game where you can't just pull out from the back and you've got to earn it and you've got to play long and you've got to play direct and you've got to have variety to allow you to do certain things you can't just go and play at one speed so like we earned that and we got the opportunity to do it in the second half but that was down to our grittiness and our determination in the first half so it's not quite as as cut and dry as just do this like this and do this like that the mid and head is a little bit different i thought we should have started better and we should have started faster so we did loads of work on our restarts and how, how could we start and Hopefully that'll be a bit more evident when we come to play South End on Saturday. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.